Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be learning about if statements in Java through the example of a choose your own adventure game. So in this adventure game, try to imagine that we're stuck in a dungeon and we're facing two doors. One of the doors, we will escape the dungeon, win our freedom and win the game. And the other door, we lose the game. So over here, I have this visualized. So let's say the first door is a losing door. If we pick that door, we lose. The second door, you guessed it, is a winning door. If we pick that door, we win the game. Now let's code that out in Java. So first let's set a variable and call it door and set it equal to zero for now because there is no door zero, so it's a safe door. And this variable represents the door that we pick. So we can either pick door one or two. Now let's code, you know, an example of what will happen when we actually pick a door. So first case scenario, we pick door number one. So in our if statement, we're going to say if the door we pick is equal to door number one, we are going to print out. you lose just like that so this is what our if statement looks like on the top over here this is our conditional statement so basically what a conditional statement is is it checks this code in these parentheses and if this code is true it's going to do everything in this block of code right here if this conditional statement is false it's going to skip this block of code and continue with the rest of the program. So in this conditional statement, you see we are checking if the door we picked is equal to door number one. And if it is, we're going to print out you lose because that's a losing door. So another point to note here is I'm checking if our door is equal to one using two equal signs. And this is very important to note because we only use one equal sign when we are setting variables. You see up at the top over there, I'm setting door equal to zero with one equal sign. But when I'm checking if the door is equal to door number one, I'm using two equal signs. Okay, let's move on and code the second um, door. So if our door is equal equal to door number two, I'm going to print out you win. And there we go. There's our choose your own adventure game. So let's test what will happen if I pick door number one. I'll bring, oops, I'll bring the terminal up here so you can really see it and run it. And as you can see over here, I lost the game. Um, so what's going on in this code? So I set my door is equal to one. I then go to my first conditional statement and check if the door I picked is equal to door number one. It is equal to door number one, so I'm going to print out you lose. I'm then going to go to my next conditional statement and check, is my door equal to door number two? No, it is not. I skip that block of code. So what will happen if I choose door number two? I think we already know what will happen, but let's see anyway. I win. <laughs> so again, one more time, I start at the first if statement. That is not a true statement, so I skip that block of code. I then move on to my second if statement. That is a true conditional statement, so I'm going to print out what's in that block of code. However, what if I choose door number three? Because there is no door number three. Will I get an error? Will nothing happen? Let me clear it so you can really see. Nothing happened. No errors popped up. And the reason for this is that none of these conditions were met, none of these conditionals. So nothing happened. And that's if statements in Java. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.